Good morning for a travelling Tuesday. And I say travelling Tuesday because today I'm attempting to go out in the wheelchair. Kids are going to take me on the bus because we've got to go. I'm going to go and get my hair done, get my hair cut, and um, I've got to go to the bank and a few other shops. And I thought, right, well, we'll. Plan, plan it for Tuesday because I know Tuesday the day after chemotherapy I'm going to be fine woke up this morning I got home last night and I crashed within uh, probably about an hour of being home which was okay and then I woke up feeling all hot, sweaty, clammy um, headache and just knew that I needed to um, try and have something small to eat and get myself back to bed, take my medication, get to bed. So that's what I did. This is my lovely, it's a juice. It's not nice. I want the milk back. I've, I've ordered the milk this time because I want the milk back. Uh, so I've woke up this morning, uh, I've got a massive headache. Not sure if it's anything to do with the medication I'm on or whether it's something to do with the side effects from the chemo, but I'm going to find that out today um, by popping up to the doctors before we go and get my hair cut. Because uh, never didn't remember suffering a headache last time first time round at all it was more like flu symptoms where it was bony achy bones and um, just sore all over and I have got a little bit of that starting but it's the calyx so I'd, it, it's a new chemo for me I don't know I don't know all about it yet what I do know is the hot sweats are just crazy, absolutely crazy. I do not miss those at all. But what I find good to work for the hot sweats for anybody else who's having chemotherapy is um, ice pops. Even if you just place it on your lips and let your lips go cold, just ice pops, lemon ice pops or strawberry ice pops or just ice lollies. Mm, so good um, so going out to get lots of those today <laughs> going to go into Iceland and stock up on ice pops because that's what I need um, so for the next three days I'll be fine because I'm on steroids I'll just have slight symptoms I probably won't have much of the bone aching and the flu type symptoms constantly sneezing last night when I get in I don't know what that's all about I've got the fan on at the minute because I'm a bit warm I've woke up really warm not hot but warm oh yeah I sneezed pardon me I sneezed a lot last night when I got in oh my god did I sneeze um, I think that's what wore me out really what made me crash and then I woke up sneezing and I had some sneezes before I went to sleep last night um, so I hope I haven't got a cold brewing but again it's probably just one of them symptoms with the flu type symptoms in it you do sneeze with it you get achy bones headache so I'll just see how I go through the day everything's ready for the kids for school Daniel goes tomorrow I'm a bit gutted because um, it's his first week of senior school and with all my kids, Daniel's my youngest, and with all my kids, I've always taken them to school for at least the first term and picked them up from school when they start year seven of senior school. I mean, I always take my kids to school anyway, but that though, that time, and obviously I can't do it because I still can't drive at the moment. I'm a little bit gutted about that, but the girls are going to take him over on the bus and... Um, on the public bus more than the school bus because I don't want them going on the school bus um, so 
with compromise without just a little bit gutted I can't do it myself so after half term I'll be able to but for this term I can't so for the next six weeks I can't um so yeah I've had all my medication and stuff so I'm going to I have my steroids but I'm still feeling quite tired so I think I'm just gonna have another little snooze because today is going to be quite wearing and tiring I think on me so I need to get up and get ready at last minute. I don't need, we don't need to be out of the house until this afternoon, so unfortunately I am going to need to snooze again. Uh, but, <sighs> but for now everything's good. And I'm going to finish my lovely milkshake off. Just to, it's just to put something in my tummy whilst I'm not eating properly. I did have um, about half a jacket potato yesterday with some beans. Um, so I'm sticking to soft food still. Because it's just what's working for me. It's easier on my tummy because I get lots of cramps and pains. If I have anything um, meaty or... I mean, I did have a bit of pain having the jacket potato yesterday, but... God, it's awful trying to get your stomach back into routine, but I suppose it's leaving it as an opening for me to give me give myself the lifestyle change that I probably should have done before, um, which is white meat, white fish, fresh veg, fresh vegetables from the farm shop, um, and that's that's kind of like what I'm going to try and stick to, ease my tummy back in gently. Uh, So what did I call it? Travelling Tuesday. So I'm going to be off on my travels this afternoon to get my hair done, to get the bag, to go to shop. And I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can still make it. I will speak to you all again soon and I'll hope that you have a really good week. Much love.